do you identify a terrorist? It's a daunting question investigators worldwide struggle to answer. But Dr. Larry Farwell believes he's one step closer to answering that question with a procedure he developed called brain fingerprinting. Unlike the traditional polygraph, which relies on stress responses, Farwell's procedure measures actual brain responses. Brain fingerprinting measures electrical brain activity that tells us whether certain information is stored in the brain or not. That information could be details of a crime scene or perhaps terrorist training code words. When we see something that's significant, the brain processes that in a different way than something that's not significant or that we don't recognize. It works like this. Subjects wear a special headband that picks up electrical patterns from the scalp. A series of images or words are flashed on a computer screen in front of the subject. The brain's responses to those words are then amplified and sent into a computer that processes and analyzes the results. You can tell from looking at the brain waves, there's a very unobviously different pattern when a person recognizes something or doesn't. Farwell's brain fingerprinting has proved successful in more than 170 research trials on FBI agents and is now admissible in court. If we can identify an FBI agent by his brain responses, we can identify a terrorist. DNA and fingerprints are extremely accurate technologies, but they're only available in about 1% of crimes. The brain is always there, planning, executing, and recording the crime. We now have a scientific technology to determine, objectively, whether that record is stored in the brain.